So, we're back with another Black Ops Cold War video. Today I want to show you guys and explain the challenge for science camo for assault rifles, task rifles, and LMGs, and bunch of other weapons in the game. If you guys don't know, um, for the flora, or sorry, if you guys don't know for the science camo, there's a new challenge called shoot and kill 50 enemies while they're taking cover from you in multiplayer. This is very confusing and very hard to like understand at first, but it's a lot more simpler than you think. However, I'm, not, I'm gonna give you guys some basic tips on how to do it and how to improve on it and get the most wounds possible. Um, however, it's still fairly glitched, so these tips will help you out a lot and increase your odds, but I'm not saying it to be guaranteed because the challenge is still glitched fairly fairly badly. Now, before we get into the video today, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. We're currently under 10,000 subscribers and 95% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so I really would really appreciate if you hit the sub button. Jay, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Here's how the challenge works. Your enemy has to be up on a head glitch and you can only see their upper chest and head and nothing else. Maybe with their arms as well, but only thing you need to see is their head, upper chest, and arms. Now, um, I can see a little bit of his bottom, like mid chest here, so I can't, like, this is not a count. They have to be kind of lower and, like, sort of crouched. And, for example, if here, if uh, my friend Omar could move a little bit to the right, there you go. See if he's, okay, not that much. Go a bit back. <laughs> okay, so as you see here, you can see his head a lot here, but also his legs and arms are in the frame. So this does not count because you can see his legs and his arms. So you literally only need to see their head and only their upper chest. Even if they're currently veering out for like a split second, it does not count. This challenge is super bugged, super glitchy, so it's very situational. This makes sure like every opportunity you get, you make sure you're like utilizing as much as possible. So for example, if he's on the head glitch like right here, uh, wait, go back inside a little bit. If he's on the head glitch right here and he's like crouched, the only way to really get the challenge done is to go head on. If you go on the side like this, there's a small chance you're gonna get the feet in in the frame, and it would not count. So you gotta make sure that you're going head on to get the like best possible uh, outcome. Uh, again, it's still really glitched, so even then, it's not gonna be 100% guaranteed. So yeah, be sure that they're actually like only their head shows, and be sure to go head on on them. Now, even if there's uh, other things in the way, such as, for example, right here, um, I could see only his head upper chest. This is good. This is fine. But when you're on the side here, even though there's this railing in the way, this does not count, and you can still it will not count as one completed. So you gotta make sure again, be sure you're all the way head on and not from the sides. Because if you're on the sides, you'll get your lower chest here and like hip or whatever, and like you get all that in frame. So it will not count. Um, so this challenge is super buggy, and I think even a couple of friends of mine have recommended the devs to like change it up or to fix it because it's literally not even like it's very situational and it's very buggy. So yeah, um, this, as long as the more you play, the more chances you'll get it done. And just be sure you're getting into the right situations. And yeah, well, that's all the premier wraps up the video and how to get this challenge done. If you guys all enjoyed, be sure to like button and subscribe button if you are new. And yeah.